Parshas Bereshis, Tovshin Pei Gimel. Now I know it's very, very tough to compete with the uh, seven or eight course Toyamel dinner that's going on here tonight. Thanks to Ramon Chabrodi, Bikachalim of Lakewood, who really, really puts out for the volunteers and uh, members of Bikachalim. Um, and I, I let them know that Amir Tzashem in a couple of weeks, you know, now we're beginning a new year, a new cycle of the Sivashalom Shiurim on the Parshiyos. And what we're really doing here is we're about to enter our 14th year, Baruch Hashem, 14th year straight of Shiurim. In another couple of weeks, we're going to have our Bar Mitzvah celebration, 13 full years of straight Thursday nights, approximately 650 Shiurim online approximately 650 straight weeks, Baruch Hashem. And I have to admit, somebody asked me if I said the shear every one of those 650 weeks. So out of those 650 weeks, there were two shiurim way back when, before we had Wi-Fi and I could broadcast from everywhere in the world, wherever I went and everything. So there were two shiurim given. There was one week that I really thought I was gonna miss the shear. I had a family chasen in New York and I met Rabbi Trank, Zechat Tzadik Lebracha, that day. He said, what are you saying tonight in the Siva Shalom Shir? I told him, I said, Rabbi, you're not going to believe. The first time, a uh, couple of years, was saying the Shir, and I think I might have to miss tonight's Shir. He tells me, you're, the, the Shir will not be missed tonight. He told me, I'm going to the Southside Sandwich Shop, and you can look on YouTube. It's there. I don't know if it's titled Rabbi Trank, whatever. Rabbi Trank went to the Southside Sandwich Shop. Mamela for me to sit in Southside Sandwich Shop and say a shear with sandwiches flying behind me and with the rest of the balagan that went on there is one thing. But Rabbi Trank stood up there and said a beautiful shear <coughs> in the Southside Sandwich Shop and he kept us going. And then there was one other week that somebody else replaced me for the shear way back at the beginning. But Baruch Hashem, so in a few weeks we're going to make a gala celebration over here. It's gala, maybe with gala also. We're going to have a, a good celebration for our Bar Mitzvah. We're going to complete our 13th year of Shiurim. And now, if we want to have a few minutes to actually speak about a Shir, we have to start now. Now, one of the chapters, one of the, one of the amazing things, Parshas Bereshis. Parshas Bereshis is something incredible because by the end of this week's Parsha, over 650 years of the history of the world goes by just in this week's Parsha. So it's Kedai, first of all, just to learn the Psukim, to learn the Midrashim, Rashi, there's so much that goes on, so much you want to know about the history of the world, about your history as a Jew, anything that went on over 650 years. So if you miss this week, you're missing out on uh, quite a large part of history. One of the things, though, that went on in this week's Parsha, which is a very, very difficult episode to understand, is what happened with Cain and Hevel. And that uh, is almost beyond our comprehension, because if you just read the words of the Psukim, like, what's going on over here? Come on, there's two people in the whole world, and, and one gets up and two, you know, kills the other person. For what reason, right? So the Torah tells us that what happened was that Hevel was a shepherd, and Cain was a person who worked the land. And Cain brought, he wanted to give to he wanted to give something to Hashem. And Cain brought, the, the Torah tells us, from the produce of the land as a mincha, as a present, as a gift to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What did Hevel do? The Torah says that Hevel brought from his sheep. Hevel was a shepherd. So he brought from his sheep, and the Torah tells us that Hashem accepted the offering of Hevel, but not that of Cain. And suffice it to say, we know we see in the Torah that Cain was not very happy about that. So the Nesiva Shalom says that we need to understand a couple of things right off the bat. We need to understand a couple of things. Because... Again, many things in the Torah are difficult to understand, but the Pasuk says here, the Pasuk says, Vayovei Kain mipriho adama, says in the Siva Shalom. 
Cain brought from the fruits of the land. And Rashi says from the Medrash that what does it mean, me priya adama? Rashi says, minagorua. He brought from something that was deficient. It wasn't from the best. Now, the Siva Shalom says is that's almost mind boggling. You don't see any, Hashem didn't ask Cain to do anything. He didn't ask Cain to bring a carbon, to bring a present. So if Cain is doing this on his own volition, if he's doing it, by himself, why would you bring something that's deficient? Why wouldn't you bring the best? No one asked you to do it, and you're doing it, so I would think your own free will, you're doing it by your own free will, bring the best. So what's going on over here? Also, you see the Torah, when the Torah speaks about Hevel, the Torah says, the Hevel Hevi Gam Hu. Hevel, the simple meaning of the Pasuk means, that Hevel also brought, he brought also himself. Why not say the Hevel Hevi mi Sinai? That Hevel brought from the firstborn of his sheep. Why does it say the Hevel Hevi Gamhu? So the Siddha Shalom says something incredible, incredible answer. He says the answer to these questions lies in the words of the Psukim. Let's analyze a second. By Hevel, the Pasuk says that he brought me Bechairois Tsoinoi from his own, his own sheep. But notice that by Cain, it says me Prihuadama, he brought from the fruits of the land. That's what Cain brought. And it doesn't say Adma Soi from his land. It says he brought me Prihuadama. Once again, Hevel, me Bechairois Tsoinoi from his own. And Cain, it doesn't say Ad Mosoi, it says by Cain, we pre Adama. So you see, the Shalom tells us, you know what this tells us? That when Hevel brought, he brought his present to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hevel brought from himself. And the Torah tells us that. He brought from himself. You know what bringing from yourself means? Bringing from yourself means you bring from what is most dear to you. What you put the most effort into, you turn around and you say, this is not for me. This is for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's called Tsoi Noi, his sheep. Cain did not bring the first fruits. You remember when we spoke about Bikurim, we spoke about the first fruits. You put so much effort into, into it, you bring it to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Cain did not bring what he put all of his effort and all of his kaychas into, his first fruit, his thing that he put the most effort into, that Cain did not bring. So even if you bring beautiful fruits, it's still called minhag garua. Minhag garua doesn't mean that he brought up as a rotten potato and, and, and gave it to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Chas v'shalom. Minhag garua means that it was lacking something. It was lacking his heart. It was lacking the input, what he put into it, and then give that over, what you put your energy into, you give that over to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, all of your heart. So the Torah here says in the Siva Shalom, the Torah is teaching us a fundamental lesson in Abaydas Hashem for every one of us. That you could have a person, you could be Isaac in Torah, and avoida all the time. A person can be Isaac in Torah and avoida, but unless you're pushing yourself to accomplish and serve Hakadosh Baruch Hu with the things that would be normally against your nature, the things that you have to fight the most for, the things that you have to put the most energy into, then you are lacking in avoida Hashem. You're lacking in serving Hashem in the ultimate way. We see the Torah in this week's Parsha. We begin the Torah again. Everybody has a chance to start learning the Torah. Everybody has a chance to start being Mabasedra, to learn the Parsha. The first letter in this week's Parsha, in Bereshis, is the letter Beis. On Simcha's Torah, a few days ago, we ended the Torah with the word Lamed, Le'ene Ko Yisrael. Those two letters together spell out Lein. The beginning and the end of the Torah. What HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants from each person, 
Hashem wants your heart. He wants you to put your energy to be focused on HaKadosh Baruch And That's how Hashem measures value. Hashem doesn't measure value in quantity. Hashem measures value in how much heart and how much energy and how much mysterious nefesh you put into what you are giving to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So when the Pesach says, the Hevel Hevi Gam Hu, it's alluding to the fact Gam Hu means that not only did he bring the present, not only did he bring the offering to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but Gam Hu, Hevel brought himself, aside from the Mincha, he brought Gam Hu, his heart, all of his energy, all of the focus was, I'm taking my best and I'm giving it to you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. There's also, I just want to end also, there's another lesson, says in Siva Shalom, to be learned over here too. And he says like this, and this is a very, very important fact for us to know also. After Cain brought his gift that we said was somewhat deficient in Avodah Hashem, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu let him know that, Hashem said that if you want to make it better, Haloi im seitiv se'es, if you want to make it better, says in the Siva Shalom what HaKadosh Baruch Hu was telling Cain and is telling all of us is that every one of us has the opportunity if you make a mistake, you can make it better. And that's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to see. The Siva Shalom says that what the Yetzirah wants more than anything else more than getting a person to sin, more than getting a person to do an Avera, is that a person should be depressed about it afterwards. Because although Atzvus, being down, being depressed itself is not an Avera, when a person is down and depressed and there's Atzvus, it can bring a person to every single Avera. And Hashem is saying, Im Seitiv, if you pick yourself up, and make yourself better, say, hey, then you'll be uplifted. And that's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to see. And the opposite is what the Yetzirah wants. The Yetzirah wants you to be down. He wants you to be down about it. He wants you to not take your mind ever off of that. And once you're down, you can't go back. It's very, very difficult to pick yourself up, to be back. You know, we just went through a whole Yom Tif. We went through a whole Yom Tif with a mitzvah was to be besimcha, And it said over from the grub, right, that it's, it might be the hardest mitzvah to carry out for a yomtiv. To be besimcha all the time, to always concentrate on being besimcha, but we have to know that even when we go through the whole year, and there are down times, and people make mistakes, people do things in their lives that they wish they could have done better, they wish they could have done differently. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us a message in this week's Parsha that guess what? You can turn it around. Don't be down. Pick yourself up and do better the next time. Pick yourself up and grow from the experience. Grow and give HaKadosh Baruch Hu the next time. Give over to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Sacrifice something from yourself to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's really some of the lessons that we can bring out, that we can learn Again, once again, it's such a complicated, complicated parsha that covers, like we said, about 1,650 years. And there's so much went on in between. You have to read the Midrashim and learn the Mepharshim to know what happened in between because not everything's brought down, but there are so many lessons to be learned. And we're hoping that Amir Tashem, that you'll, we'll be able to have another <laughs> uplifting year of Shiurim here at Bikacholim every Thursday night of uh, Nesiva Shalom, which is always so positive, positive messages, always positive. It's never too late, you should, you're never down, nobody's ever bad, there's always good, we can always turn around, and that's the focus of what we do. We focus in that if, you're, if something happens, you pick yourself up. Tremendous lesson from this week's Parsha. Thank you everybody for joining. Once again, welcome back to, to the Shir. I really appreciate everything that you all do. That first of all, listening to the share, spreading the share, sending it out. Thank you very much. A good job to everybody.